The movie starts in a high school class, where Sarah and her friends are planning to have a party. Just then, Sarah's boyfriend Skylar arrives. After a long vacation in Mexico, he appears to be angry with Sarah, as she didn't want to be intimate with him. However, that night, he eventually convinces his girlfriend and the two have an intimate session. The next day, Sarah walks into school with a proud smirk on her face. Sadly, the happy time doesn't last long, as all of a sudden she becomes sick and starts vomiting. She rushes to the bathroom, where a nerd, Haley, tries to show her concern, but Sarah totally ignores her and leaves. Shockingly, the next morning, Sarah wakes up to find herself nine months pregnant. This almost gives her a heart attack, but she keeps her cool and calls Skylar and her best friend Kiana. But when she realizes that both of them are too immature to handle the situation, she instead calls the nerd Haley and tells her about her ordeal. Despite Sarah always being arrogant and bullyish, Haley agrees to help her. She is taken aback by the massive bump on Sarah's stomach, but still takes her to a free clinic. There, the nurse takes an ultrasound while Sarah and Haley make a loose connection between the strange pregnancy and Skylar's recent return from Mexico. However, their sleuthing is cut short when the nurse notices a weird figure on the sonogram. Panicking, she rushes to call for help and at the same time, Sarah's water breaks. The nurse eventually returns with Dr. Richard and explains the weird thing she saw on the sonogram. She also warns him to stay away from the girl, but Richard ignores her and proceeds to check on Sarah's opening. Dr to the rescue. All of a sudden, a creature shoots out of Sarah and blows Richard's head off, killing him on the spot. Everyone screams in terror as the small creature rapidly jumps all over the clinic and busts all the lights. The nurse turns on the operating light, but she is suddenly attacked by the creature. It is then revealed that the creature is actually an alien, as it takes control of the nurse, making her its host. Fortunately, Sarah and Haley manage to flee the clinic, and soon a police officer named Oscar is assigned to the case. Following the incident, the two girls stop outside a convenience store and realize that Sarah's belly still hasn't deflated. Haley consoles her friend, saying it will all be fine in a couple of hours. But just then, Sarah feels a sudden kick inside her stomach. This makes them realize that she's going to give birth to yet another alien. After some deliberating, the two ultimately decide to head back to Sarah's and kill the alien by aiming it into a blender. Meanwhile, an anti-abortion protester makes his way inside the abandoned clinic, where he is attacked and taken over by the alien. At Sarah's house, the two friends wait for the alien to come out for hours, but nothing happens. Unlike the previous time, Sarah doesn't feel any contractions and has no pain. It's almost as if the alien knows of their intentions and doesn't want to come out on purpose. Left with no options, Haley suggests they visit the local alpaca farmer, Dave, recalling a time when he had sped up the labor process of an alpaca by administering a special shot. Sarah becomes angry that she's going to be operated on like an animal, but when Haley mentions that they don't have any other way, she agrees to go through with it. On the way to the farm, the protester from before chases them under the alien's control. The girls don't realize this, and as they drive off, the alien manages to tear off the license plate of the car. Elsewhere, Officer Isaac arrives at the gruesome scene at the clinic and calls in additional help. He then starts searching for clues and finds Sarah's check-in information, suspecting that she has something to do with the murders. Oscar visits her home, but finds no one there. However, as he is returning, he eventually comes across the detached license plate from earlier. Wasting no time, he looks up the data base and finds the owner of the plate to be Haley, who is also the emergency contact on the clinic admission form. On the other hand, the girls arrive at the alpaca farm and meet Dave. He is excited to see them, but his enthusiasm is somewhat dampened by a quick rundown of Sarah's current condition. As a student of natural sciences, Dave posits that it might be some sort of parasite. Meanwhile, Sarah gets a call from her boyfriend Skylar, who is upset that she hasn't returned any of his calls or texts. He also tries to call Sarah for another lovemaking session, but she becomes angry and hangs up the call. Following this, Dave whips out a giant needle and injects Sarah with the chemical called uterotone. It apparently helps to induce contractions, resulting in fast labor. Unfortunately, it has no effect on the alien, so he rushes to get some more fluid. Just then, Oscar storms into the farm and takes the girls to the police station, and after they leave, the alien protester from earlier arrives, looking for them, only to find the place deserted. At the police station, Sarah's mother Kate is called, and she is enraged to learn that her teen daughter has become pregnant. It's revealed that Kate had also made the terrible mistake of getting pregnant during her teens. And today, the same mistake has summoned her to the police station. But just when she starts screaming at Sarah, Oscar calms her down, mentioning that they have to be patient with the girls to know what happened. With this, Oscar and Kate attempt to create a calm, non-judgmental environment to make the girls tell the truth. However, as soon as the girls talk about the aliens, Oscar gets mad and starts throwing a tantrum. Just because Trump calls Mexican babies aliens doesn't make it okay. Suddenly, everyone hears someone scream, so they rush out to inspect. 
As they nervously try to figure out what's going on, an officer enters with the alien on his head. This prompts all the policemen to shoot at the alien, but they miss each time. Soon, the barbaric creature starts killing everyone in sight. Oscar quickly hands the ladies the keys to a holding cell, where they join the alpaca breeder Dave and lock themselves in. Dave hypothesizes that the alien outside and the alien inside Sarah are communicating via radio waves for the purpose of reuniting. He also informs them that the utero tone is inside the evidence room and suggests using it once more. The girls think the idea is too risky, but with time running out, they have no choice but to give it a try. Hence, all four of them venture out to retrieve the chemical while trying to avoid getting killed. When they reach the central room, they watch the alien attacking and killing Oscar. Dave then allows the ladies to go ahead as he sacrifices himself by serving as a distraction. The ladies struggle to enter the evidence room and unfortunately, Kate gets caught by the alien while Sarah and Haley barely make it inside the room. Panicking, Haley quickly searches for the chemical as Sarah prepares for labor once again, and as soon as she finds it, the alien-controlled Kate breaks into the room and sends Haley flying into the wall. Suddenly, Sarah begins to feel immense pain as the alien pulls out its other half from inside her womb. Sarah then blacks out, and later, when she gains consciousness, she finds herself in Skylar's basement. It turns out that Haley had called Skylar for help at the police station, after which he saw the station massacre and freaked out. Sarah reveals everything to Skylar and asks him if he knows anything anything about it, but he is mad that she has kept it a secret from him until now. Skylar needs a firm smack. The scene then cuts to Sarah's biology teacher inside a supermarket picking out groceries. Suddenly, Kate enters the market, while still being controlled by the alien, and begins to murder everyone on sight. After the killing spree, the aliens begin to cover the whole shop with their flesh and proceed to make a cocoon. Elsewhere, the previously planned party has already started at Kiana's house, and a lot of people are pouring in, making the place very crowded. Despite this, Kiana misses her best friend Sarah and wonders where she went. Back at Skylar's, the couple is finally coming to terms with the situation, and Skylar comforts his girlfriend. However, he again starts acting weird and attempts to seduce her. Sarah immediately backs off and tries to press him for information on his trip, but all he claims to have done was an assignment to bring back a ritualistic bat. He tries to avoid the continuous questioning and pretends to leave the room to get some tissues, but instead, he gets in his car and flees. Meanwhile, the biology teacher is escapes the market and calls the police station. All the officers are dead, except one, who is revealed to be none other than Oscar. He staggers to the phone and promises to arrive for help ASAP. Back at Skylar's, his reference to completing his class project in Mexico has got the girls searching for his laptop to take a look at the footage. With the pressure mounting, Sarah is upset that Skylar is not with her and begins to blame Haley for driving him off. Soon, an argument ensues and being the emotional girl that she is, Sarah locks herself in the bathroom. There, as she is scrolling through some of her old pictures, she finds the laptop hidden behind the toilet dustbin. Unfortunately, the laptop is locked, so she makes up with Haley and starts brainstorming ways to tackle the situation. The latter reveals that her brother, Jerome, works for an IT security firm and that he is very good at breaking into things. Hence, they decide to take the laptop to Jerome with the hopes that he can unlock it. After they arrive at his place, Jerome uses the most complex laptop hacking method in mankind history guessing the password. After the laptop is unlocked, the girls watch the assignment footage and find Skylar holding a ritualistic bat, which is apparently used to fight off spirited enemies. They also find Skylar at an ancient museum checking out a Mayan fertility totem. After damaging one of the totems, a strange gas is propelled towards his face, which blinds him temporarily. Moreover, the girls also witness a series of iconography and find out that the main job of the aliens is to reproduce and multiply their number. For this, they build a large cocoon. Afterwards, with the help of Jerome, they find out that a similar cocoon is at the supermarket. Elsewhere, Oscar reaches the market and sees the growing cocoon through the CCTV cameras. He prepares to blow the whole place up, but is interrupted as someone calls the market telephone. It turns out Sarah has called the market to see if anyone would pick up. As the two have a sweet reunion, Oscar takes a second look at the monitor and sees Kate. But unfortunately, before he can take any action, she, along with the aliens, manage to slip out of the store. As a result, Oscar hangs up the phone and chases after them in his car. 
Shortly after, the girls roll up to the empty store and deduce that the aliens might be looking for a large number of people for reproduction, so they figure out that the most logical stop would be Kiana's party. But before they go, they acquire a collection of supplies and gear up. Elsewhere, Kate regains consciousness in a basement and finds herself tied with the alien's flesh against a wall. She notices the two aliens having coitus in the corner and becomes terrified. It turns out that this is Kiana's house, and upstairs, the party is being conducted in full swing. Sarah and Haley eventually arrive at the party, and their presence puts an immediate end to the festivities. Despite the crowd's undivided attention, they are unable to convince a single person of the impending danger. They try to get some help from Kiana, but it turns out that she is having intercourse with Skylar. Enraged, Sarah tells everyone about how she got pregnant in just one day by having coitus with Skylar. Suddenly, the male alien flies into the room and hits Kiana on the head, knocking her down. The partygoers then start panicking, and chaos ensues. Haley manages to use her electric jumper on Kiana to knock the alien down for some time, but it eventually takes Skylar as a host. Now, using the muscular guy's body, the alien catches Sarah and proceeds to strangle her, but fortunately, Haley arrives to the rescue. She zaps Skylar in his private parts and sends the alien flying into a mixer. Sarah immediately closes the lid of the mixer and grinds the alien, finally killing it. Following this, Sarah locks Haley in a room and heads downstairs, believing that the second alien is hiding there. To her surprise, she finds her mom, and the two have an emotional reunion. She then quickly frees Kate and sends her out through a window. Unfortunately, when she proceeds forward, she finds out that the female alien has doubled its size. The two engage in a fight, but Sarah is easily pinned to the ground. Around. Just when all hope seemed to be fading, she notices the utero tone bottle in her backpack and tosses it down the alien's throat. At the same time, Haley also arrives and pulls her out of the basement. As the two watch in horror, the alien overdoses on the chemical and explodes, hence bringing an end to all the madness. In the aftermath, Sarah and Haley become best friends, while Oscar asks Kate out on a date. The movie ends as a bunch of government officers tie Skylar up and take him to a science lab, possibly to dissect him like a frog. The moral of today's story is if you're a parent, don't be a hypocrite. And if you're a guy in high school, don't be a f boy. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.